What's up, kids? It's me, Zocha, with no friends. I'm sweating. I'm gonna put some water in my face. Wait a second. I'm gonna do this. That's it. Look at my ass. Bitch, weird. What's up, ho? She back. If it looks like I'm sweating, I am. And now it's just water. Yeah, boy, boy. I am so hot. Like, jeez. It's 67 degrees. And I'm hot. Okay, the sun is a little away, so. Okay, let's start this video before I have another what's up. Here are all the bloopers that I made video. So, story time. Well, here mom comes. And you have to brush your hair again. Whoa, I have so many different shades. I can see really, see really. I can seriously see seriously seriously I can seriously seriously one eternity later I can seriously just start another video and more bloopers are coming in <laughs> oh wait for the people offended I I wear two rings because this ring is too big and this ring is just good. So, story time, kids. Go sit down, grab some popcorn or something else. I can fake cry. Oh, wait. <laughs> Let's just start with the topic. Can y'all believe that I don't have ADHD? I was on a two and a half week vacation to Austria. It was awesome. It was great. It was too much work for me. So it was actually just... So, girl, if you ever go to Austria, don't go to a... Why do I have to Google every day? <laughs> Don't go to a border where you have true lands. So um, we got to there. They said it was only like to walk to, to there. So you have one mountain that you had to climb over and another mountain where you had to climb over. The first one was already hard enough for me because girl. So um, I climbed to, until the half and just sat under a tree and then all kinds of mosquitoes. Um, Let's Google this again because I don't know. So much mosquitoes, ants, flies around me, on my body, on my legs, in my vagina. <laughs> no. But it was um, not really fun to do. I waited, I think, more than a half hour before I got... Before I got up, walked another long ass time and then stopped again because I was lazy. And... Then I waited another half hour and my parents were finally back. I mean, how long can you stare at horses on the top? So um, that was a fun experience. Yay. The days after that, it was so freaking hot. It was over 100 degrees. Like girl, I was on my period. I couldn't swim. Yes, your girl is afraid of tampons. <laughs> and I had to survive 90 degrees. I almost died. I almost burned. I almost melted. So um, I was really sad. I was really mad. But I was not glad. Yeah, I was glad when it got a little colder. So um, the third cool thing that happened. We got to a park that was called Mini Mundes. And it was a... And you had a few shadow places. Like, all of it was in the burning sun. And we were there at 90 degrees. I wanted to go inside because inside they had air conditioning and all that shit. But we had to go an hour outside because my mom wants to see everything. So um, it was fun. Nah. And then we got inside and that air conditioning was like heaven to me. So um, then after Mini Mendes we uh, got with a car to a grocery sto store to shop some things. We got back to uh, the camping and we got there, picked all the stuff out. And, I was, and where we sat there I was like... Oh shit, I forgot my phone. So I walk back to the car and I can't find my phone. I moved it because my brother asked for gum. So I moved it, but I didn't remember where. Yeah, it was uh, cool. My mom searched the car five times. She couldn't find it. And uh, I searched it like a hundred times. Couldn't find it. But I wasn't really stressing out. I was not like, oh my god, I lost my phone. <laughs> After begging my dad, I convinced him to go back to the grocery store and I got with him. So we drove to the grocery store, I opened the car door and my phone flips to the front. It was in the inside of the car the whole freaking time. I know for 100% sure that I searched there everywhere because I picked everything out and there was nothing left. I picked my phone and I was like freaking out. I was seriously just crying over the fact that like, how the f*** did it get? 
get there and I didn't see it. I was so confused at that moment. But um, I got my phone back and... Um, Wait, I searched everything on my phone. I just spoiled that I found my phone. And then uh, the last day we got from Austria to the Netherlands. And on the border of Austria and Germany, right next to it, was a strip club. And there were a few houses and you saw all their red lights and someone, I think someone like, actually stripped in from their very window. My brother and my little sister saw nothing. My parents saw nothing and I'm happy about that because that will have a lot of confrontation. There was a border control and they didn't see the freaking strip club. I mean, girl, are you blind? So um, we got into that um, border check for more than an hour. And guess what happened? They didn't check our car. They just checked the trucks and just let us go. Like, girl, did we just sit an hour in a border check? Just to drive through it? So that was my Austrian story time. Thanks for watching. This video is already 29 minutes. So um, I hope uh, y'all um, had some fun time watching this. And I'll uh, see y'all um, next time I upload. Bye.